So you've got a male dog, a male puppy. Should you get them neuters or not? Now for many years I've been an absolutely avid advocate of getting all male dogs neutered. I've been talking about it in the media and stressing the importance of that. And the, the main reason for that is for population control. That there are way too many dogs in this world and the way to stop that is to neuter and spay male and female dogs. So that's been the overriding reason why for many years I've been a very strong advocate of neutering and spaying of pets. However, things have changed slightly and it's important to be specific about the change. And I would still be a very strong advocate of neutering of most male dogs. But I would be saying this nowadays, do it on an individual basis. Don't just say blanket, universal, every male dog should be neutered when they're six months of age. It's different now, you have to look to the individual. So why do you have to look to the individual? Well, let's look at the pros and cons of neutering a male dogs. The pros are these. First of all, your male dog won't be able to breed anymore, so it won't contribute to the massive number of unwanted puppies. That's number one. Number two, male dogs, they, have, they don't have the same sexual habits. And what that means is they don't do things like chasing after bitches in season. I know some male dogs who, if there's a bitch in season two miles away, they'll be gone. They'll find a way out of the home. They'll dig a hole under a gate. They'll, they'll spot a crack in the door when somebody's coming in and they'll bolt. So male dogs that aren't neutered tend to run away and get themselves into trouble and cause trouble for others. So that's the second reason, okay? The third reason is, Male dogs tend to be more aggressive to other male dogs. So male dogs are more likely to get into fights and that can be troublesome for lots of people. The fourth reason is that male dogs tend to cock their leg everywhere. They mark their territory. The testosterone in their body drives them to mark their ter territory with urine. That means they lift their leg wherever they go. And I often see it here at the vet clinic. A little dog will come in, he'll cock his leg at the door, he'll walk into the consult table, he'll cock his leg in the consult table. They just keep doing it. Um, if they're neutered, that behaviour stops. Um, so that, that's a, a great relief for many folk. And the fifth thing is that um, neutering protects male dogs from all sorts of medical conditions. Examples include uh, testicular tumours. Obviously if the testicles are removed, they can't get tumours on them anymore. Inguinal hernias, these little hernias that happen in the groin area. Um, and perineal hernias, they happen under the tail. Prostate disease, um, inflamed prostate gland, um, prostatic abscesses. There's quite a long list of diseases that are prevented or minimised by neutering male dogs. Indeed, if dogs get these conditions, one of the main treatments is to castrate them. So that's the final group of reasons, if you like, why it's important to get male dogs neutered. But what about the negatives? What about the negatives? And, and that's what I need to talk about now, because that, these are some new things. First thing is that male dogs who are neutered are more likely to put on weight. Now, it's not inevitable, and my own male dogs have always been neutered, and they've always been very slim. So it, it just is that if a dog is neutered, they're more likely to. So if somebody's relaxed, if they're prone to giving their dog too many treats, um, whereas they can get away with doing that often with an, with an entire male dog, if a male dog is neutered, they're more likely to get fat. So that's something that's important to realise. The second thing is that there are some diseases that are more common when a male dog is neutered. And examples would be an underactive thyroid gland. And for, for dogs, as they get much older, there's a slightly increased risk of senile um, changes in their brain. Now, I say that, but in practice, it's an incidence which increases over tens of thousands of dogs. So it's not something that you see inevitably by any means, it's just something which they're aware of in big studies. Okay? The third thing is that there are some tumours which are actually more common in male dogs that are neutered. In particular, um, osteosarcomas of, of big dogs, are like giant dogs. So if those dogs are, are neutered when they're young, the instance of those types of cancers goes up. So for that reason, we're now starting to say that for large breed dogs, you should, um, if you're going to neuter them, you should wait till they're a year and a half of age. Overall though, what I'd say is, this is something you should talk to your vet about because it should be done on an individual basis. There are some male dogs people bring to me. Uh, an example would be a little male terrier dog who's eight months old and he's cocking his leg on everything. He's humping people's legs and they tell me that he's aggressive to dogs when they go out. For those dogs, definitely neutering is good. Somebody else brings to me a, a big, lazy, Pernian mountain dog who's just a big softy, and he, he likes his food a lot, so he's already prone to putting on a bit of weight. I'd be saying to them, you know, you haven't got any issues with his male behaviours, so, you know, 
this is a dog you can just leave entire. So it's something you do need to talk to your vet about and it's not something to ignore, you should consider it and often it is the best choice for your dog. But whereas with females it's far more likely to definitely be the right thing to do in nearly all cases, in male dogs it's a little bit more of a debate to have and that's a debate you need to have with your vet.